I never understood the mentality um, that some people have. You know, they, 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 they really think that they're entitled to more. simply because they have time in and you know you can look at this in a number of ways whether it is business personal relationships you know people they put too much value on the fact that I have been at a certain place for X amount of years or I have been in a relationship with someone for X amount of years Okay, have you evolved? Are you growing and have you grown as a person? Has your skill set flourished? Are you able to bring more to the table than you did three years, five years, seven years ago? And people, you know, they, they, so often they, they, they don't have the ability to take a true hard honest look in the mirror and just assess themselves based on what they're bringing to the table. I mean, we've all seen people who, you know, they, they're at the job and they're a little disgruntled because, you know, they feel I'm entitled to a raise or I'm entitled to move up in the company. And you're like, what is this based on? Well, I've been here for years. And <laughs> like, like, you know, granted, and, and don't get me wrong. I'm talking about reliable people. People who show up every day on time. People who are willing to stay and do their whole eight hours and you know that I can depend on this person. But guess what? They have not grown in terms of their skill set since the day that they were hired. And myself having been a, 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 a manager for many years of people, one of the things that frustrates me and aggravates me so much is when you see people who have been doing a certain job for years and they have to constantly come into your office and ask for direction and it's like you know from from a manager's side what we look for what we would love out of our employees is to see you grow i don't want you to just come in and tell me a problem and and i solve it for you what the, what, what do i need you for if that's the case I want to see you grow. I want you to come in and say, look, this is what we're dealing with. And taking this into consideration, here are my suggestions. Now, what do you think? Present me with the problem, present me with some viable options for solutions, and then put it into your manager's ball court. That puts a smile, like a smile on your management's face. It really helps them to say, you know what? The next time there is an opportunity for advancement, I will consider this person because they're a problem solver. They are growing. But people have in their mind, like, it doesn't matter whether I'm growing or not. I'm entitled to more simply because I am showing up day in and day out. And that is that stinking thinking. And that is that thinking that you have to get out of your mind and you have to start being honest with yourself because if you fall into this category you are entitled to nothing you're entitled to that paycheck but that's about it you know and, and and just to be quite honest if employers just wanted a body there that can learn that position and don't want you to do anything else you can go you know you can go out and, and hire a, a, a recently retired senior citizen and tell them, you know, somebody who's just looking for something to do. Come on in here, you know, take this job and, and, and I just need you to show up, do X, Y, and Z. You don't have to put no extra thought into it. I just need you to, to just check the boxes. Please start being honest with yourselves. You have to stop thinking you're entitled to more simply because you have time in. And trust me when I tell you, this doesn't only apply in business. How many times have we seen people in relationship, 
And, and right now, I'm about to step on hot water. I mean, I'm about to step in some hot water, but they, they, how many times have we seen people in relationship and they've been together for them same three, five, seven years, however long it has been, but you know, they started off great years ago, but over time, you know, they're just not growing together. One person is just not growing. I mean, it's cute in the beginning. It's all love in the beginning. But, you know, after years of being with somebody, you know, you don't want to look at the person and be like, yo, damn, like, like you have not grown like in years. You are the same person I met years ago. Like this just ain't working for me no more. And then, you know, and, and let's take infidelity out of it. I'm talking about just in terms of growth, being able to build together, being able to evolve together as a couple. And how often have we heard it? You know, when somebody is finally like, I've had enough of this, like you are, you, you just not growing. You're the same person I met years ago. And, and they're ready to be out. And then the other person or the other, the receiving end of that is pissed. And they run around telling their friends, you know, I can't believe that 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 she left me. Really? Like, like you don't have the ability to look and say to yourself that I have not bought anything new to this table in years. And all you can say is I've given the, the last five, six, seven years of my life to this relationship. Well, guess what? So has he. So has she. That same five, six, seven years they put into the relationship just like you. But here's the difference. They're growing and you're not. And people think because you have time in, it entitles you to something. I'm sorry. That mentality, and I got a lot of friends who, 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 you know, I'm sure they're going to watch this because they always like, yo, she ain't going nowhere. She's been with me for years. Okay. Like, like when she walking out the door and you sitting there sick to your stomach, then you figure that out. Like you, you, you're not bringing nothing to the table. What is making this woman stay with you or vice versa? What is making this man stay with you over time? If you're bringing nothing more to the table than you did years ago. Stop thinking that showing up is enough because it's really not. As human beings, we were designed to grow in all areas of our life, intellectually, spiritually, just in every angle of, of, of our life, we were designed to grow. Stop being that bump on the log. Stop being that person that all you have to hang your hat up is the fact that you have consistently been there because that is not enough. Something for you to think about. Peace and love make every move a power move, and I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.